Hi, I'm Yap Deep. So I just finished my second year in Electrical Electronics Engineering in NTU and I was able to score an A plus for this Circuit Analysis EE201 and I'm here to help you to score in this particular module. So I will share some insights on how to solve the problems with you and show some guidance in understanding the concepts. Once you understand the concepts, there's nothing to stop you to score in this module. So let's start. So there's three basic methods in solving circuits. The first one, we'll talk about Ohm's law. And then in this part one, Ohm's law, we'll discuss about the concepts of current, voltage and resistance. And also we dig into Ohm's law and give you some examples of solving questions using Ohm's law. And then we'll talk about the power of generator, of the power of uh, how they, how the elements dissipate and others and also the connections between elements and also the source and some supplementary exercise to strengthen your knowledge in Ohm's law and last but not least the summary. So let's start. So first we'll discuss about current. What is current? Current is the flow of charges. And then for charges, there are two types of charges, which is the positive and the negative. So when we talk about current, we'll use I to represent it. And then the unit of current will be ampere, which is represented by A. So if you see a question, it says that there's a current I equals to 5A, which means that in that wire, there's a current flowing from here to here with a unit of 5 ampere. So for the direction of current, if currents flow from here to here, the direction of the electrons is actually opposite of the direction of current. So for example, if there's a current flowing in this direction, I equals to 10A, the direction of the electrons flowing is actually this direction. So just take notice of this. And we use a metric, uh, we use an equation to represent current instead of the definition in words which is i equals to dq by dt flow of charges which means current is actually unit this is unit time for the dt so dq over dt means the change of sorry the change of charges in a unit time change of charges in a unit time current i equals to dq by dt you don't really need to memorize this all you need to know is you understand that i is current and then the unit is ampere which is a 